All right, let's go. I am who I am because of you. If it had not been for you, tell me where would I be? I was lost and sinking deep in sin. But you reached out your hand and rescued me. No one else can do the things you do. There's no one else but you. Hello, my name is Lydia Muni Bainam. I am uh, the charity officer for the British in Ghana Society. Um, we're a group of about uh, 80 members who meet once a month uh, just to learn more about this beautiful country that, is, that Ghana is. Um, and we also do a lot of uh, charity work supporting organizations and issues which we care about and are passionate to, to want to get involved in. Dignity Girls. My name is Gloria Kwa, and I'm the executive director for Dignity Plus Foundation. Um, my husband and I moved to this neighborhood about five years ago. And um, I mean, I used to see the girls and meet them, and I always thought of what to do to help the society. I thought about so many things. I think one thing that really kept coming back to me was to work with girls because I mean I grew up in a similar um, community but then I had adults in the society who were very interested in making sure that girls went to school and then they become you know better than what was um, in the community so we had a lot of adults and characters and I felt it was my duty also to do that for the community that I live in now. Never thought that you could Today we had the opportunity to come and support Dignity Plus, which is uh, essentially a school club um, that was started here in Langmania near Kokrobite, uh, where they meet with the girls just to talk about everyday issues, um, including how to uh, look after themselves, uh, what careers they should pursue, issues to do with friendships and sexuality and all sorts. No one else for you say know Lydia she's a member of Biggs so we spoke to her and I told her about I mean what I'm doing with the girls and she was very much interested and then they also work with a lot of charities so they have for they have other you know programs that they do so she talks about they wanting to do something with the girls and then we had the discussion I think what was of most interest to them was to um, what do you call it, meet with the girls who want to empower them, talk to them, socialize and also to donate the reusable um, sanitary parts made by Days for Girls. So they contacted Days for Girls and then through that we were able to put um, the program together. And um, our organization was really keen to come and essentially support the girls by providing uh, reusable sanitary towels uh, with the aim of one, ensuring that they didn't have to spend too much money on uh, disposable towels and that we found out that quite a few of them were missing out on school every month because they couldn't afford the towels. Uh, so this is definitely one of the main objectives that we wanted to meet. And at the same time, we, especially our chairperson, uh, uh, Claire Walker, who is uh, passionate about the environment and so is everyone else, including myself, we were quite keen to encourage the girls to look after the environment and uh, avoid uh, polluting the sea given that they live somewhere so beautiful near the ocean here um, and just explain to them the importance of again using reusable material as opposed to one corner and you can't get away. But you two have to understand that you have your job on this hand. It's very obedient, excellent. And are you going to introduce your friend over there, Ruth? Room. So you can imagine how hard it was. She was the fifth of those 11 and two of her older siblings were sold to a chain gang because they had no rights. They could take them away anytime they wanted to. Um, and today I had the opportunity to talk to a smaller group of the girls. We all did breakout groups 
and I spoke about Wangari Mathai, who is um, an amazing Kenyan woman who essentially started the Green Belt Movement and planted millions of trees uh, in Kenya. Um, and because of that, she won the Nobel Peace Prize. But even if she hadn't, she's just incredible. And we wanted to encourage the girls to understand the environment, to look after it, uh, to love it, and essentially to understand that they need to live in harmony with it. My name is Priscilla, and I'm a student of Dampase DA Model School. And I'm a member of Dignity Girls Club. I think today's program has been a good program to us. Like, we learned more about the menstrual cycle and we know how to keep ourselves well. Uh, I'm happy because I've gotten a bag and I've gotten a bag and this bag, I'm surely going to bring it to school because it's nice, it's nice. And I have this thing, the pad, the pad. Have this. Yes. this I said days for girls Ghana so yeah I think today it's been great it's, it's, it's been very exciting I mean to they are also very excited to meet the girls you know for the opportunity to interact and then also for the girls I think it's been um, an eye-opener for them to meet you know, women from different races and know that they, I mean, they all also have their own challenges, but they are working through to just become better, you know, at what they are doing and also to better themselves as, as women. So I think that has been very encouraging for, for the girls. And then um, I would want to say a big thank you to Bix for this um, connection and the collaboration with Dignity Plus and for the donation to the girls. Oh, so I would like to say a big thank you to our Madame, Auntie Gloria, and those who are part making the program successful for us. We say God bless them. Thank them. I'm really, really grateful. I know it's the beginning of, you know, bigger things to come. So I look forward to maybe more um, with them. And I also want to thank the headmaster of the school, Mr. Paul Dagui, the teachers, the patrons, the girls, and everybody who helped to make this program a success. Thank you very much. Hey,